I've been coming to World Travel Market for years because I am also from the industry. But it is the first time in a long time that I've seen the WTM this busy. So I think it's um, coming back and it's, it, you know, with a billion people traveling around the world, I think people realize that it's necessary to be here and to participate in this important event. So how has it been for Grenada already on day one? Fantastic. It feels like we've been here for three days already. <laughs> we've been doing very, very well. Um, you know, Grenada's uh, just on the verge of taking off and we're, we're in the development stages now. We're rebranding, we're repositioning ourselves and um, our entire uh, hospitality sector is very excited about what we're doing. And so we're just, we're here and we're ready and, and you know, Grenada is, as always, magnificent. Uh, there are a number of reasons for you to be excited. Um, sandals is one of those. We're yeah. thrilled to have sandals in Grenada. Uh, we think it's going to add a very nice component to our hotel product. Of course, we have a very wide range of hotels in Grenada. And uh, I think sandals coming to Grenada with this, with this product is going to just be a wonderful addition. And of course, we're pleased and very proud to say that uh, thus far it is the creme de la creme of the sandals line so we're very pleased uh, mr stewart loves grenada and he has spared no expense on this hotel and we are going to have a product that we can be so proud of come december 15th well how, how does that make you feel to know that actually grenada's uh, sandals hotel is pulling from sandals from other territories because they want to experience grenada I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> We're thrilled. I mean, you know, there's enough to go around. And I think as a Caribbean, we have to realize that we have a unique product. We have so many islands, so many diversities. But, um, you know, as a region, we can be so much stronger if we work together. One of the things that I have been um, pushing for is that we come back to the Caribbean village style of doing trade shows because, you know, it's expensive to come to these shows. And as a region, together we can do something very special, as we did in the old days. Um, we have to realize that as a region, we're, we're competing against the world. There's the Greek islands and the Maldives and the Seychelles and, you know, Africa. There's so many places. And, and as a region, we're in such a stronger position. So I also want to say to the CTO to keep up the good work. We will get there. Okay. Uh, you talked about sandals uh, opening December 15. I just spoke with Sir Royston Hopkin, who is spending $2 million refurbishing Spice Island Resort um, itself. Are, are, you, are you sensing there, through all of that, um, new confidence in the tourism sector in Grenada? Absolutely. There's a lot of confidence in our tourism sector. And Sir Royston, of course, has always been very good at maintaining um, his hotel and evolving with the times. And this is why he keeps getting awards year after year. And we're very proud of the Spice Island Inn. And Sir Royston himself has a hands-on approach. And this is why his hotel does so well. But I want to say that we have... Um, inspired our hoteliers around the island to do the same. So many of our hotels are starting to, you know, add to their product and develop the product so that it, we can just be better. What, what do you think is responsible for this new optimism, this new sense of confidence? Well, we had a, a landslide victory at the polls and um, our government is very progressive. And um, as a tourism minister, I have 23 years experience in tourism. And so I think I'm bringing a little burst of energy to everyone. And I think that we have a, a clear direction. We've talked a lot and we've come, with, come up with lots of plans. And now we're implementing. So we're actually getting some things done. And I think the industry is seeing the action. And so they're very inspired and they're jumping on board. Um, and as part of that, I see you've got two new weekly flights coming in from the UK? So. We do. We've, uh, we've got two Virgin and two British Airways uh, every week from the UK. So we're very pleased with that addition. And, um, you know, we've, we're also working with other airlines in other parts of the world. And who knows, Johnson, after the WTM is finished, we may have some other flights to talk about. Oh, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Uh, and there are a few other things. Here you're back into the Chelsea Flower Show. So Grenada is back on the market, is it? We are. Grenada, we missed the Chelsea Flower Show last year. Unfortunately, there was, you know, we lost some people that were very instrumental in making it happen. But um, this year, uh, Ms. Gaywood and her team will be back in action at the Chelsea Flower Show. And of course, Grenada has won 10 gold medals over 15 years. And we're very, very proud. 
the Queen herself comes by to, to visit our booth every year. And uh, we're very proud of that. And so it, it's important for us to be part of that because Grenada's flora and fauna is truly splendid. You, you talked about change that's happening um, within the industry there. One of the changes is from the Grenada Tourist Board of Tourism to a tourism authority. Uh, first of all, for the tourist board terminology for dummies, tell us the difference between the Board of Tourism and the Tourism Authority. Well, the Tourist Board is an entity that has been in existence for a very long time. And, you know, we've had, we've had a number of people that have been employed at the board for a very long time. And, you know, we, we've needed to sort of up the ante as it relates to our, you know, technology and, and how we promote our destination and the way that we do things and even the titles that people have. But the, the Tourism Authority is the if you want to call it the best practice. Many countries are doing it and, um, and it is important that we um, find a strategy that works best. Our focus needs to be on sales, marketing and public relations and not so much for the tourist board. It, they're, they're handling a lot of product, which is I think a lot of time consuming, uh, trivial details that they don't need to be focused on. We have other people that can focus on that. We need to sell our destination and we need to do it well and in keeping with modern and technology and we're doing that so Grenada is going to be on the cutting edge of technology and we're going to be out there and we're going to have a new formula and we have a wonderful team that we're working with already both at home and here in the UK as well as around the world and we know that we have the support of the CTO which makes it very easy for us to move forward as well and you know we have to stop talking and start working and this is what we're doing and this is why Grenada is going to be catapulted into the future and we're very excited but I must say that in doing so we are very um, keen on maintaining our environment and preserving it because it is what makes us unique we have a, a beautiful destination and we're very concerned about our ecotourism, eco, you know, the environment, protecting the reefs and the, and the forests and so on. And so we're going to be working very hard on that as well. Okay, with the new tourist board, who is handling product development and so on? Well, I mean, it's, a, it's still a work in progress, so I'll come back to you with all the details in another couple of weeks. But um, it's all happening as we speak. We're working on our local products, but, you know, we're doing a lot of public-private partnerships as well, which is, again, the way that it should be. Um, you know, I think in the Caribbean, government has too much responsibility in tourism and, and doesn't always know which is the best course of action. And you really need to rely on the professionals that are in the industry that have been doing it for 25 years and that are the ones that are actually investing in the industry. Let them help. And, and in Grenada, that's what we're doing. And our, our private sector have been tremendous and have been coming forward to volunteer and assist us wherever they can. I, and, and let me just shift attention here to internationally. I'm hearing word about some billionaire from somewhere who is supposed to have been meeting with you. Tell us about this. Well, what I will say is this. Um, Grenada has been attracting some very, very, um, how should I say, uh, special investors. People who want to do something unique and have recognized Grenada as the, the, the destination that they want to work with. And we're more than happy to, to receive them. We don't have very many hotel rooms on the island. On a good day, including all our guest houses, we probably have about 1,500. And you know we're looking to increase that, but not that it's a strain on our environment. We want quality instead of quantity. I know if you didn't tell me about this billionaire. Who is well, let's just you. say that we have um, we have several hotels that are on the books, and there is a there is a gentleman who has um, shown keen interest, and we're hoping that we will announce the project soon, very soon.